in this particular lecture we will discuss about aquatic weeds and their management aquatic weeds and their management okay so what do you understand by aquatic weeds aquatic weeds means those weeds which are uh, one of the growth stage or maybe complete growth stage that is completed in aquatic environment that means uh, where water is present and complete dry environment they cannot survive okay so uh, why it is important to study about aquatic weeds because uh, if they actually damage the uh, the aquatic environment they actually uh, cause a serious problem in the aquatic environment uh, like if any pond that is full of pond is a aquatic body so and that is a source for uh, our different uh, day to day activity that means for bathing for uh, animal drinking for uh, you know for irrigation purpose we use the water from pond or lake so if it is completely full with weed one pond is uh, devoid of weed and another pond is completely full of weed so which plant, uh, pond the water loss will be uh, faster that pond you will say that which is uh, you know devoid of weed that means there is no covering so there will be no more loss uh, means there will be loss will be more but you are incorrect if any pond that is full of weed that that will uh, the water loss will be 2 to 4 time 2 to 4 times water will loss faster than this pond which is not having any weed okay so it is very important and they are the breeding site if weeds are present they are the breeding site of different uh, insect different mosquitoes and all and they pollute the aquatic and uh, aquatic body also and uh, they compete they uh, take up the oxygen from the dissolve dissolve oxygen from the water and that will cause serious problem for the uh, aquatic animals as well so it is very important to remove these weeds from the aquatic and uh, aquatic bodies right so aquatic weeds are classified uh, based on their you know vascular nature so they are classified as broadly they are classified as uh, one is non vascular uh, aquatic plants non vascular uh, non vascular another one is vascular aquatic plants so non vascular aquatic plants are mostly algae algae they are again uh, classified as phytoplankton al algae and again classified as phytoplankton algae another one is non planktonic and filamentous algae one is phytoplankton algae another one is non planktonic or filamentous phytoplankton algae uh, uh, form water bloom or scum it forms water bloom bloom or scum like structure that is uh, for example example of phytoplankton algae is bg blue green algae blue green algae okay then non planktonic or filamentous algae the examples are examples of non planktonic and filamentous algae and that is chara or cara whatever you can say nitella you have to remember these examples because these are being asked in different competitive exam then spirogyra these are non planktonic and filamentous algae okay then vascular hydrophytes more than 100 family of vascular hydrophytes are there hundred more than hundreds of families of vascular hydrophytes are there uh, they are again classified as four types one is surface or immersed surface or immersed surface or immersed that means their uh, root uh, that means their root is you know uh, their root is uh, in the ground and their leaves on the surface water surface okay that is called surface or immersed okay like uh, our lotus then uh, water lily they are example of surface or immersed type aquatic weed uh, what are the examples examples are lotus what is the scientific name of lotus that is nelumbo lutea then water lily water lily the scientific name is nymphia odorata then water chestnut like trapa natans 
then uh, floating heart that is nymphoids okay nymphoids or floating heart water natans that is water chestnut water lily that is nymphia odorata lotus that is nelumba lutea these are surface or immersed weed second one is submerged weed submerged weed submerged weed means they are completely submerged inside the water body that means you cannot uh, see them but they are present inside the water okay at the deeper layer or uh, they are nearer to the ground or maybe suspended okay so there are again submerged to aquatic weeds are again classified as rooted rooted and uh, another one is suspended one is rooted another one is suspended rooted means their roots uh, move inside the soil and suspended means roots are suspended in the water body so rooted example of rooted aqu rooted submerged aquatic plant that is uh, hydrilla pond weed eel grass these are rooted submerged aquatic weeds then suspended uh, aqu submerged aquatic weed like coon tail that is ceratophyllum demercos and uh, otricularia like bladder wart bladder wart or otricularia species they are suspended another one is floating floating aquatic weed floating aquatic means weed means their roots are not contact with in contact with soil and they are floating okay the roots are suspended and their leaves as well as above ground uh, mane uh, means roots uh, leaves as well as the flowering structure that is uh, freely floating over the uh, water body that is free floating and rooted floating free floating and rooted floating okay free floating example uh, acornia crassipes pistia uh, stratiot salvinia molesta these are free floating aquatic weed again i am repeating acornia crassipes pistia stratiot salvinia molesta then rooted floating aquatic weed nymphia okay then some are marginal marginal weed marginal aquatic weed they are actually present in marginal soil where uh, water uh, there is water inundation or like that so marginal uh, aquatic weed example typha alternanthera ipomia polygonum these are example of marginal aquatic weeds then to control aquatic weeds then how to control the aquatic weeds there are some mechanical measures are there uh, you, you can manually control if the weed floor weed population aquatic weed population is very less you can manually uh, uh, control that manually remove those weeds then mechanically how they are being controlled by chaining and dressing by chaining and dressing they can be controlled mechanically then you can apply herbicide or chemical control chemically how you can control the aquatic weeds by applying herbicides okay different herbicides you can use so uh, some recommended herbicides like acrolein you can use acrolein at 7 ppmv to control in submerged weed you can uh, con uh, use acrolein remember at 7 ppmv okay to control potamogeton potamogeton okay acrolein 7 ppmv then dalapon dalapon can be used dalapon at 15 to 20 kg per hectare it can be used then amitrol t amitrol t it can be used uh, to control alligator weed water hyacinth cattail at 5 to 10 kg per hectare then 24d 24 dichlorophen oxyacetic acid at 4 to 8 kg per hectare but remember uh, 24d is not recommended for uh, uh, aquatic body where aquatic animals are present or, or fish cultivation is there because when we are applying 24d in the aquatic bodies what will happen 24d is a oxygen herbicide so it will dilute in the water body when we are applying uh, 24d in aquatic body it will dilute it will be diluted in the aquatic body so what will happen uh, that will act as oxygen okay and there will be more aquatic weed growth inside the uh, inside the pond or aquatic environment so as there will be more weed growth there will be oxygen devoid there will be increase in biological oxygen demand and there, that will be harmful for the aquatic animals so 24d is you can you should not use 24d or any oxygen herbicide in aquatic bodies 
then diquat and paraquat you can use diquat and uh, paraquat as well uh, at uh, concentration of 0.52 0.521 ppmv okay and then simazine diuron monouron you can uh, use for uh, control of algae at uh, 1 to 2 at 1 to 2 ppm ppmv uh, simazine atrazine Achha, how to calculate what is the what will be the quantity of herbicide you needed to prepare this 0.51 ppm v 1 to 2 ppm v you can see my other lectures because there i have mentioned how to calculate the ppm concentration or percentage uh, concentration you can find there so these are the chemical control methods some biological control approach are also there to control the aquatic weeds like Alternanthera phylogeroid that can be controlled by using flea beetle that is called agaside hygrophyla. Alton I am repeating Alternanthera phylogeroid aquatic weed can be controlled by using flea beetle that is called agaside hygrophyla. Then Aconia crassifis to control them there are several uh, bioagents, insect bioagents are present like weevil, Neochetina acornia, Neochetina bruci, then moth, Samyors, Albu gutalis. Okay, to control Aconia crassipis, there are some weevils that is called Neochetina Aconia, Neochetina bruci, and moth Samyors albi gultis. So, these are some insect uh, bioagents that uh, control Aconia crassipis. Then, to control Salvinia molesta, you can use uh, Citrobago salvinia that is weevil. Then, one hopper is that uh, called Paulinia acuminata. Okay, so to control Altonanthera. Alternanthera, you can use agaside, agaside hygrophyla. Okay, to control acornia, you can use Neochitine acorniae, Neochitine bruci, Samyors albiguta gultis. Then Salvinia molesta, to control Salvinia molesta, you can use Citrobagus salviniae and Paulinia acuminata. So, these are the biological control of different aquatic weeds. So, uh, in this lecture, we'll, uh, we have discussed about aquatic weed, what is their significance, why, why to control aquatic weeds, what are the classification of aquatic weed and uh, what are the different uh, control measures we can take to control aquatic weeds. If you have any doubt in uh, from this lecture or any other lecture, you can ask me in the comments.